mani brat pana sahasravik ritavishvam bharamandalaya nantaya nagarajaya namaha oh And exhale, release the hands down by the side. For Surya Namaskar, A, inhale, reach. Dropping the tail, draw the pelvis back a little, then exhale, keep reaching forward, reach the sitting bones way back, and fold down. Inhale, uncoil from the base to the crown, and then exhale, go back and lower to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up, roll the shoulders back, then straighten the arms and lift from the heart up through the crown, and then exhale back, downward facing, and continuing with the same rhythm of breath, and letting it roll through the body like a wave from the lowest high to the highest places, so lifting from the earth up through the feet, up the inseams of the legs, through the pelvis, all the way up to the heart on the inhale, from the heart forward and down through the arms and hands, and back into the earth on the exhale. All the way to empty, then step forward to your feet and inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. And exhale. Back to the beginning. Again, inhale, reach the arms, spread the back of the body. You can even press out a little on your heels. And then exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. With a hollow belly. And exhale, go back. To Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. Lift from the heart up through the crown. Keep the belly lifted. And then exhale back to downward facing. Maybe using gentle muscular contractions just below the belly on the inhale, especially at the beginning. to help encourage the upward movement of the subtle breath from the center of the pelvis to the altar of the heart. And feel how that gentle movement, that Uriana Bandha lift helps you expand more fully in the inhale. One more full breath here. All the way to empty. Step forward then. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Rising up. And exhale. Back to the beginning. Again. Inhale. Pressing the shoulders forward, and exhale. Dive down, inhale, uncoil. With a hollow belly, and exhale, go back. To Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. And exhale, back. Downward facing. a deep, fluid breath. And allowing the spine to undulate naturally with the undulating internal movement that you feel as you breathe. One more. All the way to M2. 
empty, then step forward to your feet. Inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. Spread the back of the body, press out on the heels. Feel the tone underneath the belly and back to the beginning. Again, inhale, press the shoulders forward, drop the tail, and exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale. To Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. Let the breath rise right through the crown and then exhale back. So downward facing. Feel the whole spine rippling and raising with the inhale. The back of the diaphragm expanding, pressing down on the outer edges of the shoulders so that the shoulder blades move out away from each other. And then as you exhale, reaching forward and down through the thumbs and index fingers, getting even more length through the psoas lines. All the way to empty then. Step forward to your feet and inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, back to the beginning. One more like this, inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale, go back. Inhale, waving up. And exhale. Downward facing. Letting the heart and the head rise and fall in sequence. Pulling back and up. On the medial arches of the feet at the beginning of each inhale. Back and up even on the shins and the knees. Feel the breath pulling up through the pelvic floor. Sliding up the sides of the belly. And expanding from the heart. And stepping forward to your feet and inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising up. And exhale. Through Samasitihi, bend the knees, touch the fingertips to the earth. Surya Namaskar, B. Inhale, reach. And exhale, dive down. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale, go back. To Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. And exhale, go back through downward facing. Step the right foot forward, then inhale and reach into warrior one and exhale all the way back to Chaturanga. And now waving up. And exhale back through downward facing left foot forward, then inhale and reach. And exhale. To Chaturanga, inhale, waving up, and exhale back, downward facing. Allowing the body to be a supple conduit. For the inner flowing movement of the breath. The 
you're responding spontaneously to the sensation of the breath moving through. You're not holding too tightly any idea about how you're supposed to embody the form, but letting the breath teach you and be the guide. One more. And forward to your feet. Inhale, get length. Exhale, fold down. And the knees deeply. Inhale to Utkatasana. Stand tall. Exhale through Samasitihi. Touch the fingertips of the floor again to Utkatasana. Inhale. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale. To Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. And exhale, back through downward, facing right foot forward. Then inhale and reach from the back of the diaphragm up to the fingertips and exhale to Chaturanga. And now waving up. And exhale back through downward facing left foot forward. Then inhale and reach. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale waving up again. And exhale back. Downward facing. Casting the thoughts at the top of each inhale into the emptiness of the out breath. So that you keep clearing space in your awareness for the next breath to roll through. One more. forward to your feet. Inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. And the knees deeply. Inhale. To Utkatasana, stand tall. Exhale, through Samasitihi once more. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, uncoil. And exhale, go back. Inhale, waving up. And exhale through downward, facing right foot forward, then inhale and reach. And exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward, facing left foot forward, then inhale and reach. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Orva Mukha. And exhale back. Ah, da Mukha. Letting the breath move through you. as deeply and fluidly as you can feel it. One more. And come forward to your feet. Inhale, get length. Exhale, fold. And the knees deeply then. Inhale, Ukatasana. Stand tall. Bend the knees again. Touch the fingertips of the earth and inhale. Lift your sitting bones high. Straighten the legs, hollow the belly. Maybe turn the fingers back and then exhale, fold. 
over the line of the legs. Inhale, lift up. The inner ankles, the medial arches, all the way up to either side of the pelvic floor. And then exhale, let the breath slide down the back of the spine. And continue that pattern as you breathe. Using the arms to draw yourself deeper on the exhale into the form. But without squeezing the mid or upper abdominals. Just holding your Uddiyana Bandha. And inhale and lift the gaze. Exhale, go back to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale through downward facing. Step the right foot forward for Trikonasana. Swing the left arm back and up. Finding some external rotation in both femur bones. But then reaching back down with an internal spiral to ground into the roots of the big toes. Lifting the support of the earth through the feet up into the pelvis with the inhale. Letting it radiate out from the heart as you exhale. One more inhale. And then exhaling, look down, shift the weight forward into the right foot for Ardha Chandrasana, right hand. Just a little to the right and forward of the right foot. And then spread the back body. Press through the left heel. And forward through the crown to make the back of the spine as long as you can. One more inhale here. And then as you exhale, Fold over the line of the right leg, letting the left foot return to the earth. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, wave up. And exhale back through downward facing step, the left foot forward, Trikonasana, the second side. Inhale, reach. shoulders back. Reaching the tail back behind you. Making the waist as long as you can, but allowing the spine to undulate naturally with the breath. One more. And then with the next exhale, Ardha Chandrasana. Spreading the back of the body again. Strong in the left leg. And then exhaling, return to the earth and fold over the line of the left leg, maybe lifting the left toes, then step to high plank, inhale and exhale, chaturanga, inhale, waving up and exhale back through downward facing, step the right foot forward between the hands, parivrita, trikonasana, so left hand to the outside of the right foot, twisting, roll the shoulders back. Find just enough external rotation in both femur bones so that you keep the outer edges of the feet grounded. Mm. 
and create a sense of narrowing in the front of the pelvis. As you lift the support, just as before, from the earth up through the pelvis to the heart on the inhale. Going deeper and reaching on the exhale. One more in-breath. And then Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana, exhaling, shift the weight forward, bring the left hand to the ground and turn to your right, reaching infinitely through the limbs. Reaching back through the tail, forward through the crown. A little internal spiral in the left leg and on this one you might extend through the foot. One more full breath. And then as you exhale, return to the earth and fold over the line of the right leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing. Step the left foot forward, twisting to the left. Parivrita Trikonasana. With a gently undulating spine. And a feeling of hollowness in the front of the pelvis. One more. And inhale, get length. And exhale, shift the weight forward. Let the right foot come up behind you. Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana, second side. Using each exhale to twist a little deeper into the form. One more. And exhale. Fold over the left leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, waving up, and exhale back, inhale, get length, Dwi Konasana, step the right foot forward, right hand to the inside of the foot, inhale, reach the left arm straight up, and breathe, pressing the inside of the right knee into the right shoulder, rolling that right shoulder back and pressing it back against the knee. And then reach the right knee forward, reach back through the left heel. And then from there forward, all the way up into the crown. With the right hand on the ground pressing all the way up into the fingertips of the left hand and reaching them infinitely into the sky. One more. Inhale and then take the left hand behind you. Catch the bind. Take a half step forward and then shift the weight into the right foot, reaching the left foot up behind you. Steady gaze. Right down at the floor. One more. Inhale, get length. And exhaling, return to the earth. Fold over the line of the right leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing. Step the left foot forward. Dvikonasana, second side. Inhale and reach.
finding the engagement of the external rotators of the femur bones. Deep in the hip sockets. So you keep the lower back spreading very broadly. The front of the pelvis narrowing, one more. And then exhaling, bring the right hand behind you for Baddha Ardha Chandrasana. Step the right foot forward just about halfway and then with the weight shifted into the left foot, lift the right foot behind you. The trick is to take that foot as you bring it up. Don't let it come all the way into the midline. Keep it ever so slightly to the outside. One more inhale. And exhaling, return to the earth. Fold over the line of the left leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing right foot forward parivrita dvikonasana inhale reach through the left arm and then twisting deeply to the right bring the left hand flat on the floor right arm up again narrowing the front of the pelvis press the right knee forward reach back through the left heel Feel a strong connection to the earth through both feet and the left hand. And use that to reach infinitely into the sky. One more. And then exhaling, take the right hand behind you. Catch the bind. And then drag that left foot forward and lift it up. Behind you for Parivrita Bada Ardha Chandrasana. Keep the gaze down. Nice and steady. One more inhale, and exhale, release, folding over the line of the right leg, inhale, high plank, and exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, wave up, and exhale back, through downward facing left foot forward, inhale, reach the right arm up, the right heel is up, Above the toes, bring the right hand down. Hollow the belly, draw that right hip in toward the center and the left hip back and in so that they gently squeeze together in the front of the pelvis. Using the exhales. to go a little deeper into the twist with each breath. One more inhale. And exhaling, take the left hand behind you, right arm underneath, catch the bind, drag that right foot forward a little bit and lift it up. and steady. Long spine, one more. And exhaling, release the bind, return to the earth, fold over the line of the left leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. 
and exhale back through downward facing step the right foot forward inhale into digasana with the fingertips on the floor keep the back ankle flexed for this variation front of the pelvis slightly narrowing and as long as you can be through the back of the spine. Look softly forward and down. Lifting the pelvis high from the earth. And then exhaling, let the left foot come down and just bring it all the way through. Inhale, reach the arms straight up. Spread the back of the body as you press the right heel into the earth. So you're dropping the tailbone, spreading the back of the pelvis. Spreading the back of the diaphragm in between the shoulder blades. Spreading even the occipital base of the skull. One more inhale. And exhale, turn to your left end. If you can, catch your left heel with the palm of the right hand. And then squeeze that left sitting bone in toward the midline. Make the waist as long as you can. If you need to bend the knee and take the right hand to the knee, you can do that. Reaching out from the heart. In every direction. And feel the heart supported by the earth, by the earth energy in the pelvis, and by the roots that reach down from there into the ground. One more inhale. And then exhaling into the second variation of Digasana. Keep the arms straight out to the side. This time, Extending through the back leg with a gentle internal spiral in the same. Spreading the back of the body. Lifting the front of the body up into it. One more. And now take the hands back. And exhale, fold over the line of the right leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing left foot forward and inhale, lift. And to the first variation of Digasana. hollow belly. So you have to keep the tailbone a little bit heavy even as you lift that right heel behind you. One more. And start to ascend as you inhale, reach the arms up. Spreading the back body. just as before. Making yourself as tall as you can be. Really long waist, one more inhale. And exhale, turning to the right. And then finding your length again. Squeezing that right sitting bone down and in. Pressing the left foot into the earth. Letting the heart lift and spread. Letting the crown float high above the heart. One more inhale. And exhale. Into the second variation of Dikasana.
gazing straight forward with a long, steady spine. One more full breath. And then inhale, take the hands back. And exhale, fold over the line of the left leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale, back through downward facing, right foot forward for Virabhadrasana A. Inhale. Coming up, keep the back heel grounded as best you can. Let the pelvis just float wherever it wants to float and keeping the coccyx heavy, spiraling back through the back leg into the outer edge of the heel. Then squaring the shoulder girdle forward. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind you, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back, reach the knuckles toward the floor, then exhale, bend the front knee, bring the head down toward the floor on the inside of that right foot. Reach the arms way overhead toward the front of your mat. And toward the front center. Plunging deeply with the exhales. And also reaching with the hands further overhead. One more. And then inhale, come up to warrior two. And sink nice and low. Deeply into the lunge. Feeling all four corners of each foot pressing in a balanced way into the earth. Nice and low, one more. Then slide the left hand down the back of the left leg, reach the right arm up with the palm facing down. Keep looking straight up underneath that arm into the reverse warrior. Lunging deep with each exhale. And now getting length. And then with the next exhale, wind the arms down and fold over the line of the right leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing left foot forward into warrior one. Inhale and reach. Square the shoulders forward. And allow that right hip to float back as needed. Uh, pulling. the front crease of the left hip back to help you square the shoulders forward. One more inhale. And exhale. Take the hands behind you, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift the heart. Roll the shoulders back, reach the knuckles toward the floor, then exhaling into the humble warrior. Lunging as deeply as you can. You could even touch the head to the floor, but don't drop all your weight into it. Stay in the strength of your legs. Full breath. 
an inhale coming up to warrior two. Dropping nice and low. With each inhale getting lift through the spine. With each exhale settling deeper into the lunge. One more full breath. And slide the right hand down the back of the right leg and reach the left arm up, palm facing down. Turn the heart up toward the sky. Even slightly turning the shoulders back toward the front of the mat. Keeping the external rotators engaged in both hips. One more full breath. Inhale, get length. And exhale, wind the hands down and fold over the line of the left leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back through downward facing jump forward to a squatting position. Inhale to Ukatasana. Nice and low. By reaching the arms toward a vertical position, And then feeling the balance of dropping the hips and lifting the rib cage. And then exhale, twisting deeply to the left. Bring the right hand flat to the floor. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Drop the hips nice and low. Twisting deep on the exhales. Lengthening through the spine on the inhales. One more full breath. With the next exhale, turning back forward. Inhale up through center. Exhale, now twist to the right. Right into the second side. Inhale, reach. center. Five more breaths. Heavy tail. Lifting and reaching. And exhale. Bring the hands down. Inhale, lift it up. And then we'll come down into Bakasana and hold. For five. Really pressing up between the shoulder blades. Pulling the feet up. Toward the tail. Squeezing the pubic bones up toward the navel. One more inhale. And exhale back to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale. Through down, we're facing right foot forward, Pristanasana. Inhale, take the hands out in front of you. Exhale. Dropping nice and low. Pressing the outer edges of the shoulders. 
down toward the earth, bringing the heart lower and lower with each exhale. And then straighten the right leg to drag the hands back. Step the left foot behind you. Catch the left heel with the palm facing up. And then find your chaturanga arm on the left side. Keep the hips lifted, long spine. And then gaze towards your foot over to your right. One more. And bring the left leg through into the squatting position. Catch with both hands and drop the chin. Push the tailbone forward. Pull back with the hands. And take the hands down, bend the left knee, and see if you can lift up into Lalasana, maybe straightening the left leg, and then exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha, exhale back, Adha Mukha, and step the left foot forward. Inhale, hands out in front of you, exhale, dropping into Pristanasana. as low to the earth as you can bring it by keeping that left knee more or less over the line of the left foot and as you inhale straighten the left leg to drag the hands back and then exhaling step the right leg behind the left catching the heel with an underhand grip. Staring toward the right foot, which is over to your left side. Staying strong in the left leg. One more. And bring that right leg through into the Squatting position, catch with both hands. Drop the chin. Keep your Uriana Bunda lift. One more. And take the hands down and bring the right leg up and lift. Bring the left foot up to meet it, then maybe straighten that right leg. And then exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Step the left foot forward. And then lunging over to the into the right side, keeping the left leg straight in Skandasana, and right elbow over the left, dropping the tail, reaching up through the arms toward the sky. And then exhaling, Curl in. So you're kind of pushing your tailbone forward 
and pulling your elbows toward the tail. One more. And come forward. Exhale, fold over the line of the left leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, come back. And exhaling, saddle into the lunge. Wrap the left elbow over the right with the arms interlaced. And lift through the arms as high as you can, but keep the tailbone dropping toward the earth. One more. And then, rounding the back. Passing the tailbone forward toward the elbows. Still reaching through the fingertips forward, away from the elbows. One more. And release. Come forward with the inhale. Exhale, fold over the line of the right leg. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, step the right foot forward right between the hands. And bring the, if you can, bring the right sitting bone down. Or at least the upper part of the right hip. Reaching back, kind of spiraling internally through the left leg and then reaching back into the heel. One more. And then take your left hand right onto the right foot and take the right hand, reach it back and catch the outside of the left leg. Keep reaching through the left heel Press down with the left hand and gaze back over your right shoulder. The left knee is off the floor. You're long through that left psoas line. Good. And then take the right hand and reach it up with the palm out. Reach the hand up between the shoulder blades. Then take the left arm up and reach back and catch. And then wrap the left arm forward to the side of the head and look straight up. Reaching up through the left elbow. One more. And then as you exhale, Fold down, try to bring that foot right to the center of the sternum and then keep the left elbow, if you can, off the floor and the left knee, gazing forward. And if that's too much, just take the arms out in front of you with the hands on the floor. hands to the floor, then step to the high plank, inhale, and exhale to chaturanga, inhale, waving up, and exhale back, inhale, get length, and exhale, step the left foot forward into this vakrasana position. 
with the right knee off the floor. And if your, le your left knee might not go all the way down, it might be more like this, and that's fine. Keep your pelvis squared more or less forward. Reaching back through the heel and gently forward through the anterior iliac spine on the right side. And then take the right hand to the left foot, reach the left arm up and back, catch the leg on the outside, twisting, getting long through that right psoas line. One more like this. And then left arm, or left hand rather, up between the shoulder blades, reach with the right. And then wrap that right shoulder forward. So the right arm comes to the right side of the head. And then exhaling, bring the heart down on the center of the chest, the sternum, right onto the inner edge of that left foot. Keep reaching forward through the right elbow. Keep the gaze forward right across the floor. to a high plank and exhale to chaturanga inhale waving up and exhale back inhale get length and then jump through with the right leg wrapped over the upper right arm left leg straight hold One more. And bring it down and then find the compass by bringing the right knee way to the back of the right shoulder. Reach back through the right arm, straighten the right leg, look up. Underneath the left. Roll that right shoulder back and keep pressing the right sitting bone forward as if to square your pelvis back towards your left foot. One more, and then see if you can duck the head underneath the right leg, and there we go, and sit with the hands in prayer position, and Brahmadi Adristi. And then exhale, fold over the line of the left leg. Still with the Brahmadi Adristi. Pulling back a little on the left sitting bone. So you're squaring the pelvis toward the left foot. Then inhale, come up. And exhale, take the hands down and inhale, lift. And then you can let the right foot slip from behind the head and then straighten both legs, scissor the legs out to the right side into Ekapada Kundanyasana.
and take back to Chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, and exhale back, Adha Mukha, inhale, get length, and jump through with the left arm wrapped, the left leg wrapped around the upper left arm, see if you can hold that, feel that stimulation in the kanda, just above the pelvic floor. And we're gonna bend and fold around that for the next several postures before we lift that energy back up higher toward the heart. Into the compass position now. Externally rotating in the left leg, rolling that left shoulder back, getting really long through the spine. One more. And then duck, drawing the Left foot back behind the head and sit tall. Into Ekapada Shirshasana. Exhale, catch, inhale here, getting length and then folding over the line of the right leg. to the floor, inhale, lift up, and exhale, let the left leg slip from behind the head, scissor the legs to the left for Akapada Kundinyasana. Spiral internally through the left leg, reach back through the right. One more, and exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, waving up, and exhale back, inhale, getting length, and then coming to a tripod headstand. And with the very next exhale, bring the knees to the backs of the shoulders and press up to Bakasana with the inhale. Exhaling, bring the head back down. Inhale, straighten in the tripod headstand. Exhale, bring the knees down to the backs of the outsides of the shoulders actually this time. And then straighten the arms as you inhale. Straighten also the left leg straight out in front of you. Into an Ekapada Kun Bakasana variation. Bring the head back down, inhale, straighten in the tripod, exhale, bring the knees to the backs of the shoulders and inhale, lift up. Straightening the right leg for the second side. Keep straightening the arms, pressing the spine up between the shoulder blades. 
One more. And exhale. Bring the head down. Inhale, come back up. And then bring the knees down for one more Bakasana. Exhale back to Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha. Inhale, getting length. And exhale, come through. Both feet out in front of you. And catch the big toes with the first two fingers and thumb. Ekarna Dhanurasana. Inhale, lift the right foot up, keeping the legs straight. Turn the pelvis out to the side, and then exhale. Draw the right foot back toward the ear. Straighten the right leg, and then square the pelvis forward. Pull that foot high. So you're bringing the leg right into the center of the spine. And then exhale, bring the right foot down. Inhale, open it up on the second side. And exhale, draw the left foot back by the left ear, or even behind. Straighten. Exhale, square the pelvis forward. And now get tall and turning into the line of the left leg. Bringing the leg right into the front of the spine. Exhale, bring it back down. Take the hands to the earth and inhale, lift. And exhale back to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. And inhale, get length. And exhale, come through to a Navasana position. Inhale here. Exhale, reach the arms above the head, open it up, don't quite touch the head and the heels to the floor. And then inhale, lift back up, touching the fingertips to the ground. Exhale back, inhale up, exhale back, inhale up, two more. And then exhaling, bring the heels down and Purvottanasana lift. Spiraling internally through the legs, pressing down through the index fingers and thumbs, tailbone lifting up toward the sky. One more, and exhale. Inhale, Navasana. Exhale, go back. Inhale up. back, Parvottanasana lift, and 
One more. Back down, inhale. Exhale, open it up, inhale, lift. Two. Three. Try to narrow the front of the pelvis. Even as you lift the hips high. One more. And exhale. Calm down. And hopefully you feel some stimulation there between the pubic bones and the navel. Right at the kanda. Inhale. Lift. And exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha, inhale, get length. And then exhaling, bring the elbows to the floor for Pinchamayarasana. And inhale, come up. Drop the head, try to look up the front of the body to your toes. And then take back to Chaturanga. And inhale to Ordva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha, inhale, getting length. And then bring the forearms down again. Another pincha, this time the hollow back variation. So you're gonna come up. And then you're gonna bring the knees Keep the knees together and bring them down as you look up and try to see your knees. And arching the back as much as you can. And back up straight and to Chaturanga. Inhale, Ordva Mukha, and exhale back, Adha Mukha, and then one more variation, so setting it up just like the last one, and then you're going to straighten the left leg and reach it toward the front of your mat as you bring the right knee down. leg in and straighten the right leg and back up to pincha and chaturanga inhale to ordva mukha exhale back adha mukha inhale getting length and exhale, come through. And take a Janu Sirsasana position, but with the angle open really wide. And then you're going to reach around behind you with the right hand and see if you can catch the upper thigh, the left hand, so the outs, the inside rather of the left foot. And you're twisting to the right, looking over your right shoulder. One more. And take the left hand straight out and drop lower. If it's comfortable enough, reach the right arm all the way overhead 
and then take the left hand. You can keep it there or reach up for the inside of the foot. And to Parivrita, Janushirsasana. Twisting very deeply. Reaching forward and down through that right knee so that you're super long through the outer line of the right psoas. And inhale, coming up. And exhale, release. And take the hands down. Inhale, lift. And exhale back, chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back. Adha Mukha. Inhale, getting length. And exhale, come through. And open it up on this side. Catch your bind and twisting deeply. To the left. the right arm straight out to the side. You could stay there working that variation or reach the left arm overhead and catch the right foot on the outside. And then if you like, you could even bring the right hand up to catch the inside of the foot or maybe even catch the wrist of the right hand with the left hand. Gazing up. Rhythmic undulating breath. One more. Inhale back up and turn forward. Hands down, inhale, lift. And exhale back to Chaturanga, inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, getting length. And exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. Inhale, reach the right, the arms up. And then twisting to your left, slide the left hand down the back or outside of the right leg, the right hand toward the outside of the left. Roll the shoulders back and look over the left shoulder. Long through that right psoas line again. And then take the right elbow over the left. Press the elbows high and arch. Reaching back through the right heel. Forward through the left knee. Exhale, hands down. Step to the high plank position. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, step the right foot forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Twist to the right. And find the form. Keep the shoulders back over the pelvis. Reaching forward through the right knee. And back through the left heel. Keep the chin up, long spine. One more. And back forward. This time, left elbow over the right. And arching. Inhale, press the elbows up. Exhale, arch into it. And exhale, 
Take the hands down. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. Step the left foot forward. And exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Bring the right knee to the floor. Reach back and catch the foot with the thumb pointing up. Push the foot into the right hand and look over your left shoulder. Roll that right shoulder way back, even turning your thumb out on the back foot. So you feel the stretch really long across the front of the right side of the chest. Push strongly with the foot. One more. And then draw the foot in toward the outside of the right hip, straightening the left arm. One more. And with the left hand, catch the foot with an overhand grip. With the right hand, take the, catch the inside of the right knee. Keep the toes hooking just on the front of that right shoulder, and then with the left hand, reach around, see if you can grab your heel. One more. And release. Folding, inhale, high plank, and exhale to Chaturanga, inhale to Urdhva Mukha, and exhale back, Adha Mukha, inhale, get length, and exhale, step the right foot forward, left knee down, catch the foot on the inside, thumb up, look over your right shoulder, Pull that left shoulder down and roll it back externally. Turn your thumb out. And push the left foot against the hand as you do that. So you feel strong stretch, even in the nerves in the front of that left shoulder. One more. And bring the left foot toward the outside of the left hip. Straighten the right arm. Squaring the shoulders forward. One more. And catch the left foot with the right hand. Take the left hand to the outside, or rather the inside of the left knee. Keep the foot hooked on the front of the left shoulder, and then maybe you can reach around with your right hand and catch the heel. One more, and exhale, release, folding, inhale, high plank, and exhale to Chaturanga, inhale, Urdhva Mukha, and exhale back, Adha Mukha, inhale, get length, and exhale, come to your knees, 
for Ustrasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Roll the shoulders back. And drop the head back if it's comfortable. Keep pulling on the pubic bones back toward the coccyx. Lifting the top of the sacrum in and up. Gently pressing the outer edges of the pelvis forward and in. One more. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, take the right leg out. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, reach the right arm. And exhale, reach that one back with the palm on the inside. Pressing gently the right hip forward. Making that right psoas line as long as it can be. One more. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, reach it back. that left psoas line. Inhale, back up. Roll the shoulders back one more time, symmetrically. Maybe you can bring the hands flat to the floor. Strong legs. Wrapping from the back of the spine laterally and then forward back toward the front. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, take the hands down, tuck the toes under, shift the weight back. And inhale, see if you can lift up to Lilasana. And then exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Ah, Mukha, inhale, get length. And exhale, come to your knees. Inhale, hands to the hips. For Lagu Vajrasana, so slide the hands down to the front of the legs. Exhale, go as far back as you can without losing it. Inhale, come up. Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale back, inhale up. Exhale back, inhale up. And then one more, holding for five. Maybe you can wrap the hands all the way to the fronts of the knees. Don't drop the weight of the body into the head if you can touch the, just barely touch the head to the floor, but yet hold your weight in your legs. Then inhale, coming up. And exhale, touch them, bring the hands to the floor, tuck the toes under, shift the weight back, bring the knees into the chest. Then inhale and lift it up. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back. Urdhva Mukha, inhale, get length. And exhale, come forward to your knees. Inhale, coming up. Take the hands here. So we're just going to hang on this one to reaching straight back. Inhale, elbows up, push the legs down into the floor so you're as long as you can be through the lower spine. And then start to curl back. You can interlace the fingers, straighten the arms. And hold here. Keep pulling the pubic bones back toward the coccyx, even as you push your hips forward. And inhale, come up. 
and exhale, hands to the floor. Tuck the toes under, shift the weight back. Inhale and lift, and exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha, and exhale back. Inhale, get length, and exhale, come to your knees. Inhale, hands to the hips. Full Kapatasana, or just working the B variation. Inhale, get lift, exhale, curl. Take as many breaths as you need to find length in the spine. Set it up so that there's no crunching. And when you're ready, go ahead into whichever variation you're working with in the moment. down into the B variation if you're going there. When you're ready, coming up. And then come down and take a breath or two, just feeling the release from the soft palate and from the crown of the head all the way down into the emptiness of the body. to the earth, tuck the toes under, shift the weight back, and bring the knees in. Inhale, lift, to Lalasana, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, to Urdhva Mukha, exhale back, Adha Mukha, inhale, getting length, and step the right leg through into Hanumanasana. And take the hands back, Gaze straight out. And then bend the left knee. So if you can catch the foot on the inside, maybe bring that left arm around. And with the right hand, reach back as close as you can to your left knee. And then push that foot against the left arm. Take the head back, looking down the line of the nose. Maybe draw that right foot toward the right shoulder. And release. And step the right foot back. High plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale back. Ah, then we'll go inhale, get length. And then step the left foot forward into Hanumanasana. Take the hands back. And take the head back if that feels okay, looking up but down the line of the nose. back and catch 
hold the foot with the right hand, and with the left hand, reach back as close as you can to the right knee. Push that foot against the hand. So you're pushing the foot and the hand away from the head. And then maybe bring the foot toward the left shoulder. You have to bring the head right through the arm, threading the needle. And then take the head back through and release, stepping back to Chaturanga. Inhale to Urdhva Mukha. And exhale back. Adha Mukha, inhale high plank. And exhale to Chaturanga. Bring the hips down, scoot the rib cage forward so you're long through the waist, and then just come into Bhujangasana the cobra pose. Maybe you can straighten the arms here, but you don't have to. But keep the shoulders rolled back. Keep diving the pubic bones back toward the toes, pulling the top of the sacrum forward and up. Maybe you can find a Dhanurasana here, so reach back, catch the feet. And if this variation of Dhanurasana is not available to you, just do the variation where you catch your shins by reaching the hands back this way instead of overhead. And if you can reach overhead, go ahead and do that. Pushing your feet against your hands to help straighten the arms. And release. And now, waving up. And exhale back. Inhale, get length. And exhale, come through. For Ordva Dhanurasana, inhale, sit tall. Exhale, bend the knees, lie back, set the hands, and lift up. Exhale down, touch the head to the floor, and inhale, come back up for another five. Keeping the pubic bones heavy, letting them drop toward the coccyx, but lifting the pelvis high. Exhale, touch the head to the floor again. Inhale, right back up. When you're ready, standing. And then exhale back. And now up. Follow your breath. Uh -huh. 
five times. Practice and standing. Nice and steady. Maybe dropping over and standing. And doing that twice more. And then half backs. So hands to the shoulders, wrapping forward, spreading the back body. Exhale back. Inhale up. And then after three to the floor. Holding a deep word of it on your asana for 10 breaths. And inhale, coming up. And then folding forward and hanging. Coming down into Paschimottanasana. And exhale, lie back. into Tariki Mudra. Hollowing out from the pelvic floor to the undersurface of the diaphragm. And breathing into that empty space. feet up over the hips, and then kick all the way up to Sarvangasana. Narrowing the front of the body a little bit so that you have a strong aponic spreading action in the back of the body.
then bring the feet overhead, interlace the fingers into Halasana. Point the toes away from the crown, reach the crown toward the toes, then pull the sitting bones forward and up so that the toes drag even closer to the crown. And the waist is long. And bring the knees down by the ears. Don't push the knees to the floor, just let them fall. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't, but don't crunch the back of your neck. can, squeeze your ears with the inner knees. And then if you have that squeeze, you can even reach the feet away from the head to give the cervical spine a little traction. the hands flat to the floor, slowly roll the spine down until the sacrum is flat on the ground and catch the backs of the legs, press the elbows into the floor, arch the back. You can kind of scoot your sitting bones toward the back of the mat before you bring your head down. That'll help you get a deeper but comfortably lifted arch. Elbows are on the floor, press them down to lift the heart higher. Feel the shoulder blades lifting the heart from beneath, making an offering of the heart to the sky. And relax the back of the palate, let the mind melt into the earth. And then catch the backs of the legs with the hands again. Press the elbows down, look toward your toes. And then start to go back, but take your hands, put your hands one on top of the other, flat between the shoulder blades. And then you can roll back onto your forearms. And maybe from here, go into the headstand. the head off the floor maybe and if you can do that then flex your ankles and look up the front of the body to your toes reach the coccyx high so the back of the spine is really long down and come to the child's pose. Take another vinyasa. A 
final vinyasa. And come through. And take Lotus if you have it. And then maybe you can catch the hands behind the back or maybe even catching the toes. Take an in-breath, sitting tall, and then exhaling, fold forward. And let the head rest on the earth. And with the next exhale, exhale all the way to empty and then rest in the emptiness. And when you're ready to inhale, let the breath bring you up. Take five full deep breaths here. Feeling how fluidly the breath can move through the body now. Feeling the openness of the channels. Of the mind, of the heart. And the next exhale, let the head lift. Release the breath and just give space. And then when you're ready, you can simply lie back into Shavasana. And let the shoulder blades drop down toward the feet. Keep the feet a little bit wider than the hips, hands a little wider than the feet the palms facing up. And take one more deep breath into the center of the heart. And as you exhale, let the breath go right up through the throat, through the skull, and out the crown of the head. And let it go completely. Releasing all effort, all assessment, and all technique.
And when you're ready, turn it to the side. And then coming back. Om Kalei Varshatu Parjanyaha Priti Visasya Shalini Desho yam kshoho barahito Brahmana santu nebayaha Om shanti 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 Tat sat